Welcome back. We continue now with our ongoing coverage of power and influence, reporting on the people and utility companies impacting our lives and our pocketbooks. A very big vote last night means higher APS bills are on the way. Just how much higher is still a subject of debate. 12 News journalist Joe Dana just got back from talking to the Corporation Commission chair about the impact. Joe? APS says expect roughly an 8% hike to the average home electricity bill. But customer advocates are just not convinced. They cite APS's own financial data. Parties in the case were warning of much higher rates. So the much rumored 15% was, I don't know, is hyperbole the right word for a thing like that? Corporation Commission Chair Jim O'Connor trying to reassure the public there won't be surprises. And I know it's been a long and, and grueling process. Last uh, night, just minutes before the final the vote, the actual impact to customers of the APS rate plan was not clear. And that is rough. The accountants need to do all of their calculations. O'Connor says they had enough to go on to take a vote. To hold up everybody sitting, waiting in that room, if, if we're talking about a basis point or two, it's, it's not material. Every dollar means something. Diane Brown of a customer nonprofit says the commission voted in haste. The concern is not only did APS fail to provide comprehensive information, but the commission failed to ask the questions necessary to ensure they had adequate and complete data. Brown points to the now infamous 2017 APS rate hike. An independent analysis later showed the actual bill impact was three times what was advertised. We hoped that the 2017 rate case would be a lesson learned. O'Connor says the commission will carefully review the final numbers expected from APS next week. The rate hike would kick in next month. If you see evidence that the rate impact is higher than what APS is advertising, will you put them under oath? Well, I, I wouldn't expect that, uh, that much of a deviation. That would be shocking to me. And of course, we'd make inquiry. Different classes of customers will take different financial hits including schools and small businesses. For now, we wait for the fine print. Joe Dana, 12 News.